Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari, Living Sacrifice, continuing some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Jack the Ripper, DLC. Let's, uh, let's see what we got to do to get in here. Is it on this side? They're no longer on our side, are they? They are now our sworn enemies. How do you get in here? Where's an open window or whatever? Maybe this is where you gotta go. Ah, right there. I walked right by the door. The mother of all crimes. Are they not supposed to see me? Oh, they're not supposed to see me. Mary Jane Kelly. Jack's latest atrocity must be his last. Evie searches for anything the monster may have overlooked. Anything that will help her bring an end to the Ripper's reign of terror. Monster. You damn monster! Oi! You're not allowed in here! Evie! Get a hold of yourself! Go, go, out! Who is she? Tell me quickly! Tell you? By what right? I am an officer of the law. I am not a member of your secret organization. Listen to me! Jacob knows... No, you listen to me. I cannot cover for you much longer. All the evidence points to your brother, your order, you. You need to deliver the Ripper's head on a spike soon, or I'm afraid there'll be nothing to stop my men from arresting you in his stead. You'll have his head, even if it costs me mine. But tell her what she needs to know. A young unfortunate. By far the youngest at 25. Okay. Miss Kelly was found dead here at 10.45 this morning. Her throat had been cut and her whole head and body mutilated in a fashion which defines the word hideous. He removed her organs, her heart, her dignity. You want me to see you as she did? Imagine the terror she felt. Do you hurt women just to prove you're a man, Jack? Mmm. The kettle is still warm. That is a lot of blood. The blood stain has a straight edge on its side, suggest suggesting that an object blocked the splatter. The door is moved, blood splattered. I can't make sense of these markings from this position. There's blood on the door and a strange symbol that resembles the one above the body. The police must have moved the door when they arrived at the scene. What's this? Jack must have left these markings for me. My gift to you, Miss Fry. And more to come, unless you do as Jack says. Follow the trail of blood through the looking glass. Jack wants me to return to the scene of his first crimes. I will do as you say, Jack, until I find you and send you to your own special hell. What did you discover? A message for me. The monster is going to lead me right to him, Inspector. I must return to the locations of the Ripper's first crimes. Don't let your fury wrong with your blind neck? you, Miss Fry. I would not lose you, too. If I do die, Inspector, I will take the Ripper with me. Annie Chapman was murdered near a cemetery in Whitechapel. Let's not provoke them if we don't have to. Huh. 
Protect me! Protect me, you bastards! Don't kill anyone. You better make them run away then. I'm going to have to scare off this lot if I want to investigate in peace. Dang it. How am I not supposed to kill anyone if... Where is it? I guess I could do this to him. That's how to do it. Someone fought here. The Ripper first the Ripper's first strike did not kill her outright. It was a deep wound that bled profusely. She ran away. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast. The second victim of his hideous crimes. He cut off her ring finger. So where is the ring? The Ripper wounded her again here. She lost a lot of blood, but the injuries were still not fatal. Jack let her flee, only to hunt her down again and again, prolonging her agony. Where does it lead? The footsteps suggest that she turned around here, and given the amount of blood loss, she paused for a moment before fleeing again. Did she stop to face Jack, or find some place to hide a clue she turned back to plead with Jack to hurl something a third powerful strike which still did not slay her instantly Jack must have relished her terror as she watched her life slip away yet another one She fell here exhausted and terrif terrified and alone. There was no merciful final blow. Jack must have watched as her life drained away in a pool of blood. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. I don't get it. Do we have a hint? I don't get it. I don't remember how to do it. There's no hint. Oh, let's try doing that. Uh, that might be a good idea. Hey, no! No! Son of a biscuit.
Jack wanted to be sure I'd find these rings. Oh, okay. I'm still gotta go back. I thought I was like, oh crap, I'm not gonna decipher the message in time. What kind of creed cannot protect its own? This message was intended first for my brother. Catherine Eddowes was murdered in a small square close to the train tracks. Don't kill anyone again, hey? A? I must find the location where Jack murdered his other victim. She was found here on her back with her throat slit and one ear cut off. Her intestines had been drawn out and displayed by some fiendish design. That is a lot of blood. Eddowes was backed to the wall here, bleeding profusely. Jack's cut was deep, perhaps to the abdomen. This is where Miss Eddowes breathed her last. Humiliated Jack ended Miss Eddowes' agony here, throwing her to the ground that he performed his macabre ritual mutilations. What's wrong with that guy? He's stuck. Thrown to the ground, remorseless and cruel. Signs of a struggle. Blood stains and handprints suggest that Miss Eddowes was fleeing on her hands and knees. I gotta remember not to hit the X button, not even accidentally. Where does it lead? She jumped over these crates with Jack on her heels. Her wounds were not so deep as to prevent escape yet. You monster. You murdered every assassin my brother turned against you and your insane creed. Extensive dried blood stain. The amount of blood loss suggests that Jack cut Lizzie Stride's throat here, killing her instantly. Kate Eddowes had time to flee. So there was two of them. I should follow these traces. She leaped over that wall in a desperate attempt to flee the Ripper. Oh, I gotta look at these first, huh? Not sure where which one started. Which one was the first one? That's where she died, right? So that was the final.
more blood splatter. Small droplets of blood, but not from the fight. The spatter may come from a small blood-covered object thrown from this position. Blood splatters. The splatter is too small to have come from the victim's wounds. The droplets nearest the haystack are barely visible, suggesting a blood-covered object may have rolled or bounced here from another location. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Successfully not killed anyone. No poking around the edges. This is going to require a closer look. No use poking around the edges. I gotta get in, I guess. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Two assassins' rings. Jack murdered two women here. Two of Jacob's initiates. die before you see the truth. P.S. Your brother didn't listen, so I gave him a double lesson. Your creed failed them, as it failed my mother. Jack oh, so now. His mother as a boy. That's where he's leading me. For Jack, only his mother's death counts as murder. So she knows him, knows him. Knows his history and everything. She's little Eliza Doolittle. What is this place? The Ripper didn't murder anyone here. What? He's gonna make you scared. What to say? I was born here, survived the madhouse, and learned from the best until he betrayed me. Come test your creed against mine. That is a really good premise that Jack was, Jack the Ripper, was an assassin. The murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother. Blames the Creed for failing them. What's happening to me? I should thank you, Evie. Jacob inspired my acts by his treachery. But it's your memory that inspired today, Master Beast. He's inside my head. Where was Jacob? Stalic's men gutted my mother. Where was it when they dragged me to the madhouse? Am I losing my mind? What kind of creep cannot protect itself? A dead creep, that's what. Control yourself, Evie. Come on. Come on, I'm hitting the button. What's not working? Why is she running? That come on. Grew to see his weakness and knew what I had to do. I am hitting the B button. Why isn't it working? I don't know what else to do. I'm hitting the B button. I'm hitting the X button. I'm hitting the B button. What the heck? Those work. 
Nothing's working. Crap. Are you serious? Alright, well, I guess I'll restart it. That's annoying. God! I'm like, I don't suck! I don't suck! Stop making me feel like I suck! When your buttons aren't working. What? What? The murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother. Blames the Creed for failing them. What's happening to me? I should thank you, Evie. Jacob inspired my heart by his treachery. But it's your medal who inspired today's masterpiece. He's inside my head. Where was Jacob? Stark's men gutting my brother. Where was it when they dragged me to the madhouse? Face me, you monster! Am I losing my mind? Oh, there was two available instead of one. That's why it was having a problem. A dead creep, that's what. No! Please! Please! I've gone mad! Hmm. The madhouse. Lambeth Asylum. Jack lures me through the looking glass. Don't kill anyone, don't kill anyone. We didn't kill anyone! Whoa, that was... She tried to do the splits there. She tried to do the splits there. Alright, well, I think this is another good place to pause it. We're doing some fairly quick episodes today. On the Assassin's Creed, as always, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see y'all in the next one. Remember to keep moving forward! <laughs>